It's said that Syracuse lives and dies by the three ball, and that's never been more true than today when the Orange shot just 19% in an 84-72 loss to St. John's. I mean, it's tough in that situation. Guys are knocking down shots from like half court, it felt like. I mean, there's only so much you can do sometimes, and you know, guys are going to make bigger plays. And it just so happened that they were knocking them down tonight. What's great about Malachi and Trevor is they missing shots. They think they're making the next ones. And, uh, you know, you, 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 listen, we, we've been living and dying by the three. And uh, when we make them, we're really, really good. And I thought we got some really good ones. But the kids fought. And that's what that's what uh, I told them at the end. I'm like, we can't dig these deficits. They made some tough ones. I mean, some tough ones that you can't even do anything about. I mean, uh, extended NBA three-pointers aren't the easiest thing to make, and they made a couple of them. And so, I mean, yeah, I think uh, defensively we could be a little bit better. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they, they shot the ball extremely, extremely well. Syracuse is now 1-2 and two under Mike Hopkins and moves on to face Cornell back in the Carrier Dome next Saturday. Reporting from Madison Square Garden, Andrew Scaglione, Citrus TV.